what is up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be building out this full e-commerce website and we will integrate it with lipana and pesa so we're going to be building this out using wordpress so you don't need any coding skills for this one so be sure to follow along the step-by-step -step guide and you'll be able to replicate this website uh, for your particular business so hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you do give it, give it a like subscribe to the channel and let's just get straight to it by the way if you did not subscribe hit the subscribe button now let's get it <laughs> Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a start Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. ahead and start uh, building this out so we're going to be building out a full wordpress e-commerce website and we're going to integrate it with mpesa so for me i'm using namecheap as my hosting provider as i've said before on the channel if you like have many uh, various methods you can use for payments i recommend namecheap but if you don't you can go ahead and use truehost which allows for lipana and pesa so those are the two recommendations that i'm going to give I'll have links down below so that you can use those ones. So I'm just going to head into my hosting list. So I do have some shared hosting. So this is the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to go into my cPanel. Then once I'm in this cPanel, what I want to do is, because this is an add-on, I'm going to use some domain I used I bought a while back for my blog, but I didn't, it didn't really get that much traction. So I, I just trashed that one. So this is the one should be somewhere here so wordpress manager by softaculous that is the the what you want to click on this is the one that manages your installations of wordpress within the cpanel so i have an installation already so i'm just going to get rid of this one so i'm going to clear all the files that do exist so let me just uninstall literally everything that is in here scrub it forget about it so let me just remove this installation okay I will not regret this. Probably I will. <laughs> uh, but let's just uh, do this for purposes of the tutorial. So installation was removed successfully. Return to WordPress management. So I'm just going to install a new copy. ASAP. Just like that. Then just put in some of these details. So for me, this is the, the URL. So I also have to provide the site name. So I'm just going to call it awesome. Shop. then maybe for the description i'm just going to say my store but this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide guys so i'm going to show you everything from scratch so don't even worry about this don't trip so for admin don't worry about this i won't even blur this because i'll change it i'll change it so just do dev dev then for the password let me do dev dev uh, 
dev website here and do maybe a hash zero to one that's very strong and yeah let's click on install for sure for sure for sure for sure so this is going to take a while especially if you have a very uh, a very mid tier laptop like mine that's going to take a while but for you guys who are very fast machines it's going to be a piece of cake so while we wait, subscribe to the damn channel and give this a like if you're enjoying the video thus far. So it has successfully been created. So if I open this up in a new tab, I probably have the worst template given to me right now, but that doesn't matter. Mind blown. So this is the template that is by default here. We're going to change this, so don't worry. So let's just give that some time. Okay, so it has loaded up. So for the screen options, I don't need any of these distractions. So let me just get rid of literally everything in here. I don't need this, not this. Yeah, so perfect. This one is fantastic. So I have a nice dashboard. I like minimalistic stuff. So that's just me. So you want to go into appearance and go into the themes. And for the themes, we're going to click on add new. By default, they have activated this 2023 theme which it doesn't look great and it's not suited for our e-commerce. So what I want you to search for is app. You don't, you don't even have to search. It's right here. This is the one I would say has the best kind of themes and a lot of them are free. So this is the one we're going to install. So just click on install on Astra because this is the theme that we're going to be using because everything that it actually offers, it offers uh, for the free one, it offers for free. So you don't have to get a lot of, maybe the pictures have like watermarks or something. It's not very ideal. So let's just go into theme details. And what you want to do is just scroll down and click on Astra options right here. So Astra options, that is what you want to click on and click on install the importer plugin. So what this will do is it will actually uh, enable you to be able to now use the templates that are the starter templates that Astra has developed, which is actually fantastic because now you can pick this Instead of this being a video for just maybe one type of uh, e-commerce business, you can pick for whichever e-commerce that you are actually uh, working on and they'll actually give you something very nice. So if, if it's a restaurant or something, you can just pick that. If it is a, an online shop for electronics, clothes, whatever, just pick one that's perfect for you. So I'm just going to use Elementor as the builder. And wow, you can see already you have some amazing, amazing templates right here. Of course, there are some which are premium, so uh, I wouldn't you, you don't click on those unless you're building this for for maybe a, a client or a company so they can handle those costs. So I think I like this one, this organic store. So let me just click on that. And this is the point now where you can upload your logo, you know, scale it to whichever size that you wish. But don't worry, this is not set in stone. It's not like once you skip this, you are doomed. You're just okay. So just click on skip and continue. Or for you just configure it now this is what i find very interesting about these themes you can actually um configure the color scheme so right now it has a green color scheme and that makes sense because this is something about organic stuff and whatnot but you can go ahead and change the scheme to maybe something like this you can change it to yellow you know you have these options uh, configured right here you know so i'm just going to leave it at green because i think that was a nice choice by the designer it looks kind of nice and you can also change the font if you wish right here just scroll and change that and for me let me just click on continue so just give them a few details about yourself so i'm just going to say dev your work email just put in whichever to just work i am maybe just say a beginner and i'm building a website for myself depending on what you're building this for but it's not really important then just say i agree to receive your newsletters or oh, hell no no i do not agree they will just spam your inbox so just like that so let's just give this a moment to install the required plugins and everything that is required for this site to work while we do it give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel it really motivates me to keep making more of such videos for you guys so be sure to hit that red button it's no longer red. I suppose it's now white. Hit that white button. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, proud of self for that terrible joke. Moving on swiftly. So this is something that I really recommend. I recommend this Astra, by the way. 
So it's not even a paid promotion or anything. I don't have affiliate links to them. I just recommend them because they are quite a nice service to use. And so I think we're pretty much done and we'll be redirected in a few seconds to some video showing you, I don't know, how this was made and how you can make more. You know what, just exit to your dashboard. So what we now have to do is now configure this because we're building this for Kenya. So some things like the currency is a bit screwed up. So just go into your WooCommerce, then go into your settings. Then go into settings right there. Then uh, for the address, you can go ahead and set this one. Hopefully this will auto populate. Yeah, something like this. Yeah, so just like that. In the country or state, make sure you change this to Kenya. Give you some few options to see a uh, Bungoma, whatever. So just scroll this and find your your location. This is just a very simple process. And once you have actually done that, you can choose which countries you wish to sell to, uh, shipping locations, uh, default customer location, and whatnot. And then for the currency, now let's now change this to Kenyan shillings. So just write K and shillings and say like that and click on save changes yeah and that's okay so now let's just check out this shop let's check out this shop so this was the terrible looking ui now let's give this a quick refresh so this one looks fantastic i mean look at this Mwah. what is this selling veggies it's selling organic veggies so as you can see, this is a nice looking website. The currency has changed to Kenyan. And now the ultimate test, the ultimate test, is this thing responsive actually? Let's go ahead and check this out, if this is actually responsive. So inspect this and look at that. It is responsive to the very core. So it looks good both on your desktop and on mobile, which is actually very fantastic because uh, you actually need this because Nowadays, most users are actually viewing this from their their mobile phones, not their PC. So let's go ahead and maybe see the single page uh, products, how it looks. So because if it looks terrible, then we are, we are not going to use this. And look, it actually looks fantastic. You have the recommended products, uh, the related ones. You also have a place to review. Oh my God, let's say nice, uh, nice, what is this? Sanitizer, nice sanitizer, satinizer, sanitizer nice sanitizer submit that okay select the rating so i'm giving this a five star submit oh wow mm, look at that beautiful beautiful fantastic and you have this zoom effect i'm pretty sure you can also add several images to this so what's next now is we had uh the mpesa checkout so to do that let me just head back to my woocommerce the dashboard and now I need to go into plugins and then add new. So well, what you're now actually going to do is that you actually just upload this. So once you purchase it down in the description, there'll be a link for this plugin. All you have to do is click on upload this plugin. Uh, choose the file from your PC. So activate plugin. And by default, it will come pre-configured with some sandbox credentials for you to test this. But once you need to go live, uh, you can follow the going live process or you can let us know and we will help you out with that for a fee. So as you can see, thank you for installing Mpesa for WooCommerce. You are awesome and whatnot. So right now, if you go into your WooCommerce, you will notice you now have a three new uh, sub-menus. So configure Mpesa, Mpesa Analytics and the status. So let's just go into configure M-Pesa. So here is where you can now absolutely dominate your plugin in configurations. So the environment is in sandbox. So when you go live, just change this to live, identifier, pay bill, what's not pretty standard stuff. You already know this from the M-Pesa, the Raja sandbox and the other videos that we have actually done so uh, you don't have to actually change this one because this is just for testing but once you go live uh, the issues were like maybe confirming the status of payments those ones will just go away once you go live but you will get some issues when you are still on sandbox 
so here you can also describe uh, uh what you want the buttons to say and the description so maybe if you maybe you want something minimalistic maybe just say uh, make uh, make sure then um, this uh x and uh, enter your pin your m pencil something so whichever message you want here for the user to see and with us order status on payment maybe you want this to be processing or whatnot just or you can do that uh mark order as completed so here you also have the the m -Pesa c2b api which is for offline payments which means that um atom 2 akilipa from directly from the to the till by just going through the manual method you'll be able to actually receive uh, this particular data so that is a very nice thing but you also need to know that you have to go live for this one to work so you cannot take it uh, at the moment so let's just uh, scroll and hit on uh, save changes also you also have reversal so you can also reverse payments and what's not so yeah at the moment you have officially created a website and integrated it with them pesa very simple very fast now let's go ahead and refresh the page so i like visiting this i don't like this bar so let me just visit this on on an incognito tab so let me just go incognito paste this right here so yeah that's the website right there so let me just go ahead and purchase something so this hand sanitizer for example for 19 shillings let's go ahead and use this one for the test so the hand sanitizer uh, plus free shipping so let me just say add to cart so hand sanitizer has been added to the cart and we can go ahead and view it so look at that very nice and click on checkout so wow look at that so let me hope this will auto populate yeah just like that and uh, maybe you can add special notes for your order maybe you can say i need mine in different packaging or something but this is where we are actually interested in so just put in your impressor number so zero four zero four zero eight four nine six click that and hit on place order so my phone is right here let us wait for that SDK push. So there it is. Do you want to pay 15 shillings to Sandbox? Yes. Let me just enter that pin. Send. So the system actually is uh, very automatic mm -hmm. in this type of stuff. So once you have be able to, once you have made your payments, you it will be able to be uh, updated. It will be pending at the moment, but. Once it has updated it, that the end you have paid, uh, it will be able to be set as a complete. So, of course, you also have this prompt to resend this SDK push in case you didn't get it the first time. You also have this option to resend. And you can see your order number, the dates, what's not, everything. Also, in case the SDK push didn't work, you also have some instructions here to enable uh, the user to pay uh, manually, which is actually very nice because you have the uh, c2b offline payments so that means even if they use this particular method you'll be able to get that data and their order will be set as uh, complete so yeah that was it for this quick video hope you guys enjoyed and if you did be sure to subscribe to the channel of course as always i will see you guys in the next video peace out